This week on Battle of the Ports, we are taking a look at one of the most influential games of its time. This is D no Shokutaku, which basically translates to D's Dining Table. D's Dining Table was first released on a 3DO by Sanne Shobo in Japan on April 1st, 1995. However, it was developed by Warp, a company headed by the infamous Kenji Edo. D is an interactive movie which features adventure game elements and a horror genre storyline. The game is also entirely full motion video based. You take on the role of Laura Harris, played by a digital actress named Laura that appears in other games by Warp. The idea is to guide Laura through the game's environment, solving puzzles to unravel the story. The story is actually kind of twisted. Taking place in 1997, the story begins when Laura Harris is contacted by the Los Angeles police. Receiving a disturbing message, her father, Dr. Richard Harris, has gone on a mass murdering spree and barricaded himself in his own hospital. Laura rushes to the scene of the crime, desperate to find an explanation for the well-respected doctor's actions. Upon entering the hospital, she is so horrified at the murdered bodies lying around the halls that she covers her eyes. When she uncovers them again, she finds herself in an unknown medieval castle. Unwilling to give up her search, Laura continues through the dark corridors of the castle. While attempting to find her father, she experiences a series of flashbacks of her mother being stabbed to death. Laura's father, taking the form of apparitions, warns her to leave, saying that if she stays too long, means being stuck in the alternative reality forever. He warns that he will soon become an emotionless monster and will eventually try to kill her. Still shaken, Laura proceeds to find her father. Very twisted. Development of D lasted about one year and was directed by Warp's president, Kenji Eno. Kenji was heavily inspired by Polar Wars Transylvania adventure game series and he believes D would never have been created if it were not for playing those games. Kenji and Warp were still relatively unknown in the industry when D was in production. With this in mind, Kenji felt that he was gambling his development career on D, and if it weren't successful, he would have to stop developing games. The plot of D was largely based upon that of Dracula, but Kenji found it too boring, so he went and added violence and cannibalism to make the game more striking. The FMVs were created using Amiga 4000s. Sadly, Kenji Eno is no longer with us, as he died on February 20th, 2013 from high blood pressure related illnesses. He was quite the character, as well as a talented pianist. I suggest you read up about him. Link in the video description. The next format D appeared on was the Sega Saturn in July of 1995. It wouldn't reach the western shores until March the following year. Now the original D on the 3DO wasn't the best looking when it came to video quality, and the Saturn is known for having poor video quality, so how does it compare to the 3DO original? Well, in some cases it looks cleaner, but in others it is most obvious worse looking, plus the Saturn release tends to look darker. However, the audio is of a better quality and this game features a lot of extra footage not found in the original 3DO release. Of course, the 3DO would eventually see these extra scenes with the release of the director's cut in January 1996. So yeah, the Saturn port of D is pretty reasonable. The video is just as smooth in motion as the 3DO and the control is pretty much the same as well.
On December 1st, 1995, we saw the PlayStation port get released in Japan. This version of the game comes with the subtitle of Complete Graphics. Why? No idea, because it seems to be the same game as the Saturn release. However, I noticed that the disc change areas are different and one flashback scene near the bookshelf that was on the Saturn version was absent from this version. Very odd. The video quality on the PlayStation is clearly better than the Saturn and the 3DO, but still isn't without issues. In a few areas it can look worse due to the way MPEG can feature macro blocks on video compression, but overall it is a much cleaner looking game. Finally we have the PC version that was released as a DOS and Windows 95 version. I'm actually playing the DOS version here as part of the GOG release. This port originally shipped sometime in late 1995. This release was handled by Rosner Labs Software in partnership with Warp. I would have expected the PC version to look the best, but sadly not. The FMV used in this version seriously lacks colour depth, giving the game a very rough look. What I do find amusing though are the scan lines added to the video playback. Now you may be thinking that I have all the settings wrong which is why the colour is so bad. Well that is not the case, as you can clearly see here by looking directly at the video files. These are lower in resolution and bit depth than the console versions. The actual game seems to be based upon the PlayStation release since this PC port is missing the same flashback as the PlayStation game. Overall this is probably the most disappointing version of D. And yes, the Windows version looks just the same, I checked. Let's take a look at all those versions of D no Shokutaku running side by side. 